Hi, I'm Victor Augusto, a huge fan of Metal Messiah Radio. And you are listening to Joker Electric Circus. Hi guys, what's up? I'm John Bolton, little vocals of Foreign Kills from Brazil. When I want to hear rap metal from around the world, I listen to Joker's Electric Circus of MetalMessiahRadio.com. Why so serious? It's DJ Joker in the house. All right, all right. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to another interview edition of the Electric Circus Radio Show right here at MetalMessiahRadio.com, your metal music messiah. Here with me tonight, we have Johnny Gladson, lead vocalist of the band 4Chaos. Johnny is here to discuss his band 4Chaos. 4Chaos is a groove thrash metal band formed in 2019. The band is from Brazil. Currently, the band has released their first album entitled Remnants of Sanity, which has eight new tracks. The singles of the album are Here, This So Quiet Place, Silent and Silence and Chaos. Hello, Johnny. How are you? Hi, James. What's up? I'm great, man. And you? It's an honor and a pleasure having you on this show. I am doing great. Welcome to the Electric Circus Radio Show here at MetalMessiahRadio.com. Johnny, please tell us about the new album, Remnants of Sanity. Right, so first, thanks, dude. I appreciate it. It's a lot to be here with you, right? So, and Remnants of Sanity is the first album of the band. We wanted to make something with quality, you know, and that the people want content of this, think this is a great album with great songs. Right. And we did this thing to make part of representation of the rap metal in our days. We can realize the diversity of the rap metal around the world, so and we wanted to make part of this team. What was the process like on this album for developing the songs and figuring out who's playing what? Well, uh, me and Matheus uh, decided to record some ideas first uh, of music, and at the same time I was thinking about the lyrics after the construction of the general idea, we finished the sound and went to the studio to record this, right? And there we, we had the help of uh, Oliver and Rodolfo, the other members, to make the composition better. This process took a year and a half, more or less, I think. So it was a great process. Who did the songwriting on the album? And the, lyri- the lyrics were composed by me, and the instrumental part of the songs were made by me and Matheus and Hick. And we passed one year and a half to do this, and I think developing and I think the possibility to do the songs. Is there a hidden meaning in any of your music, and what are some of the main topics you cover in some of the songs? Yes, the, the meaning behind of our music is about internal conflict, you know, and of course, resulting of these external conflicts, and we realize in many visible conflicts in our society, but the internal conflicts result of this external world, each person can realize it by itself, so we like to talk about this and make the fans identify himself through of the song. Who did the cover art for Remnants of Sanity? Well, here in Brazil has great guys that make a great job with cover art. And talking about the cover art for Remnants of Sanity, it was made by Joás Oliveira, the creation, you know, the idea, this art. And the reproduction and finalization was made by Vito Barbosa, and they both were great artists of the horror city. Okay, what is the image on the album about? What's the meaning of that image? It's a beautiful art on the cover, by the way. Oh, thank you. So this represents the this conflict, this internal conflict that I uh, spoke before, and you know this representation of someone without identity and in some place with or something like that, 
Mm-hmm. So, and it and part of the art songs are music and is represented in this art. Very interesting. Please tell us who uh, was the producer on Remnants of Sanity and the mixing and mastering of the album. Please tell us about that. Right, so the producer was Jess Oruga. He's a big friend of the band. It was a great opportunity to share experience and knowledge about all these persons to make an album, you know. And we passed three or four months to recording and everything. And to think and discussing, but everything was perfect then. How did you all meet and who founded the band? Well, we thought a lot about the name, and first because we wanted a simple name, but at the same time a name that described the sense of the composing and the sense of the sound and the thoughts of the whole members, you know. And presence of the word chaos uh, represent a lot of these feelings that we can pass uh, through the art. And in the name four is the number of the members of the band, and the perfect number or something like that. So it sounds cool in the final. Awesome. How do you balance your music with other obligations in life outside of the band? Well, we are college students, right? We don't have children or something like that. And the job is about the music. We we like to, to make music. So everything that we do is about the music. What is your favorite part about this line of work, being a musician and in a band? This is a great question, man. And there's many good parts on to be a member of a rap metal band. For example, I like so much to meet new people, a new place, and I like to feel how the people receive art. And even with all the hard work and keep a band project, in general, it's an amazing experience. Right. What drew you to the music industry to begin with? I appreciate the art a lot. So, and about the music world, I, I feel like everything could be possible, you know, with the music. Because of that, I, I think I, I'm, I am a musician. Right. How old were you, Johnny, when you first started singing and playing guitar? All right. So, I am in 24 old. Uh, I don't have sure, but I think I started to play guitar with... And 16 year old, right? With the help of the internet grow up, it was possible to learn easily. And to be singer was not an option to me before, but it was happening naturally over the years. And for example, the band that I was member before of Four Kills mm-hmm. needed to someone to sing and I try and work. So I'm here. Who are some of your favorite singers that you admire and made you want to be a lead vocalist and a guitar player? Right, so I have two answers for this. And to think about all my life, a big influence to me are James Hatfield and Brian Johnson. Metallica and ACDC always were my favorite bands. But... And uh, to think about today, my big influence are Ready Blight of Lamb of God and Joy Templeti of Gorgia. They are amazing. Nice. They are all great bands. Please tell us about the music scene in your area coming up as a musician in Brazil. In Brazil, it has a great scene, you know, in the sense of bands with quality and great festival, but living Rav metal here in Brazil is still very complicated. First, because other music and style are more pure here. And the scene also need more support and unity. So, Who are some of your favorite bands from Brazil uh, that you've seen before live? And you was, you was like, wow, man, I want to be a singer and I want to be a guitarist. <laughs> right, so... Like I said before, here in Brazil, and um, has great bands, you know. So 
in Brazil and we particularly like Sectura, Angra, and Project for Seeds, among others. There's many bands. Johnny, where do you see your band in the near future, your goals to where you want to be as a band? If it depends on us, we have no limits. <laughs> we are working hard into win recognition, so the future we want for the band is and participation in first balls and that more and more fans can be part of this madness together with us. Have you guys played at any metal festivals before? If so, what were the festivals? If not, what festivals would you love to be a part of? Yeah, as the band is starting this year, but we play at an important festival here in Brazil, like Grito Rock Editions. Of course, we want to make part of the big festival here, like April Pro Rock, Garen Sounds, among the others. And to think about, first of all, around the world, and dream is Hellfest, Resurrection Fest, Fuck, and Chicago Pair. Oh, nice. What is your thoughts on the music industry today? Yes, this is a, a complicated and question. First, because I like a lot of the music industry today because I, I have contact with many rap metal music, of course, and I like it, uh, this change about this rap metal, I like the variation about this music, but to think in a general form, I don't like a lot, you know, I, I think it uh, could be more possibility, it uh, could be more chance to other types of styles, like rap metal, and it's not uh, true today. Johnny, what does the music mean to you personally? Yeah, so like I said before, I think with the music, everything could be possible, you know. So to me, the music is everything. Is and through the music, I can say anything. I can say and what I think, what I am, and it's everything, man. I. I it's hard to explain what's the importance of the music to me, but it's everything. I see. Please tell us where to buy your music. Give a plug on your websites where we can purchase music. Oh, great. All our is available for and purchase on Amazon.com. And soon we will be promoting our website and where our album will be sold as well. Please tell us about any upcoming shows and events that you guys will have. Well, we have some concerts scheduled in some states of Brazil, but we can only spread it some. So we will make it available in our social medias. And in next year, for example, we will be touring through Brazil to promote the album Remnants of Sanity. So... Many information we can only disclose later, but it's this. What kind of 4K I show will the fans get when they see you live? What to expect? No doubt. Right. No doubt. Lots of energy. We don't accept anyone stopping in our show. Or I even go down to the stage to move everybody. Are there any plans for a next album in the works? A new offering, follow uh, the follow up to this album. Yes, yes, we already have some composition, and we are already articulating a new album song, and maybe in two years has news. Okay, uh, what's your expectations uh, about playing in America and doing shows in America, and where would you love to play here that you know about in the United States? for your band to uh, perform venues or uh, events here in the States? Yes, we like a lot to uh, about this idea, you know, to be in America. And this is a dream, of course. And the opportunity to the rev metal and is great. So 
we like the idea of the Chicago Opera, but we have knowledge about the others, first of all, important in first of all, in America. So, I don't know, maybe some years we, we and hope to be in America to, to disclose an, our, our job, you know. If you open for a band, who would be your dream band that you would love for uh, for Chaos to open for? I, I can't stand. Okay. <laughs> Can you repeat me? Please give. Uh, please tell us uh, about any uh, any famous bands or bands that you look up to that you would love to open for, like in a dream uh, tour. Oh, and Lamb of God, you know, and Gojira, where's, and this is great bands that we, we have a dream to open, you right. know. Okay, please give us shout outs to the fans and your fans to be. Right. So, guys, followers and social networks and the stream platforms. We have many news for all who enjoy have metal because it's coming. Right. Johnny, it's been a pleasure and honor for having you on the show here tonight with me. Thank you for taking your time out of your busy schedule for doing this interview here with us. The best of luck to you and the guys of 4 Chaos. You are more than welcome to come back when the next album comes out. Oh, this is my pleasure, man. Thank you a lot. And for opportunity, right? So we we hope to to back. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I got two new songs from Four Chaos's new album. Uh, we got here this so quiet place, and they're the singles "Silence" and "Chaos." Please tell us about those two songs in closing here. Right. So, and uh, here it's so quiet place is a uh, a song that say a lot about the older project, you know, all the albums so this song say many things about this. And the silence in kill is a compliment of this. So because of that this is the, the two and main single of of the the album. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here's the first single off their new album, the 4 Chaos album. Here is Here This So Quiet Place. I'm DJ Joker, and I'm live here at MetalMessiahRadio.com. Crank it. Enjoy. Oh! 